You have been sir. tweeting a lot about Mr. Donald Trump. Uh, and you have a theory about Trump, and I think you're a very insightful man. Can you tell us what your theory is? My theory is that he's stuck in the first chakra. Stuck you know in the, what first, that means? the first chakra, no I don't. The root and sacral chakras that have to do with four basic responses. Fight, flight, feed, and fornicate. This is controlled by the reptilian brain. Yes. His reptilian brain is on overdrive. And he is stuck in uh, the first chakra. He's stuck there. His energy is blocked, yes. Okay. Where, and, and, and tell me in the body, where does this, where, where does this reside? Is it the... It's in the genitals. He thinks with his, <laughs> he, he thinks with his penis. Yes. <laughs> you just described many of us, actually, but <laughs> to be fair. But you, you're saying Trump is, his chakra is down there uh, where his uh, penis his resides. His consciousness is stuck in his genitals. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, you, you said that, it was quite clear the first time. <laughs> How does this, how does this affect him? How does this affect Donald Trump if he is indeed stuck in his genitals? He's incapable of moving beyond uh, uh, the emotional development of a three-year-old. Yeah. So uh, he is incapable of being centered, intuitive. He has no insight, no intuition, no creativity, no vision no capacity to offer hope, trust, stability, <laughs> or compassion. So who are you voting for, is my question. Not for uh, the Donald, for sure. No, no. Well, you say that in Radical Beauty, you say our outer beauty is affected by how we feel on the inside. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, uh, beauty is a feeling, and what appears out there is the outer expression of that. If you're wearing dirty underwear, even though no one else can see it, your body language, your facial expression, your eye movements, your gestures may be affected by how you feel. Right, even though that's something that no one can see. Even though some, uh, no one can see that, your internal state is always reflected in your gonna, expressions. I'm, yeah, do you see it when you look at Donald Trump? Do you see his outer expressions showing you? Uh... I see resentment, grievances, fear, hostility, guilt, shame, even depression, and very poor self-esteem. Okay, uh, here's a, just a random picture we have of Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, that's the first chakra. That's the, so he's, yeah. yeah. His, <laughs> his, his, yes, that is actually. His, his finger is pointing. Yeah, in the that is way. the first chakra. That is the, ex, that is the extension of his penis is yeah. what you're saying. Actually, looks like his. <laughs> you know, it's probably that size too. You know, he's been talking about the size of his. Well, he was, yeah, a couple yeah. months ago. He was talking yeah. about the size or of his penis. Now yeah. his finger gives you an indication. Yes. <laughs> This yes, is a very or... fascinating conversation. This is not, <laughs> they don't have this conversation on MSNBC or CNN. I think we're breaking new ground here. It's, uh, it's, I really do. I think that we have broken yeah. through to a it's new way of analyzing politics. It's a combination politics. of sex and spirituality. Yes. They're very intertwined, aren't they? Yeah. I'm not stuck in my first chakra, am I? You've kind of moved a little bit beyond that. <laughs> I mean, low ab run, low abdomen. Could run for president. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like low abdomen, you know, I, are you talking? I, I, Am I out of... You know, you've achieved a certain amount of success. He's still trying to. Yeah. You know, Mr. Trump is still trying to uh, achieve success. Right. You know, the worst thing that you can say to him is that he's not successful. Right, right. That's, so. that's hitting him, literally kicking him in his first chakra. That's that is what's... So you've gone beyond that, I think.